जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम अरे गो अपार करुणा सिंधु ज्ञानद शांतूपिण श्रीचंद्रशेखर गुरु प्रणमा मुदाबह श्री गुरुचरणारविंदाभ्या नम दैवती कुरल वॉइस ऑफ गाड फर्स्ट वॉल्यूम चैप्टर नंबर टू अद्वैत एंड टूडे टॉपिक इज Topic number seven: The little part and the transcendental. The sun is only one, but if a little water is sprinkled on a smooth surface, a sun is seen in every drop of water. Although they look like different entities, it would not mean that there are several suns. Sun is only one. Similarly, the little sparks of intelligence that shine in all beings are the reflections of the only Brahman. This is what Sri Adi Shankara Acharya has said in his Brahma Sutra Bhashyam, that is the commentary on the Brahma Sutra. The transcendental energy, the intelligence, which is the basis for everything, shows itself as little parts within us. That transcendental energy, intelligence, is what the Vedanta refers to as that. That means what is far away and above everything. Although in our present state. it appears to be far away actually what is far away and what is near are all the same tat the vedas declare that is yourself tatvam as i say this for a moment it would appear that everything is clear if we always remain in that state in which we are at this moment we will be free from sorrow but the very next moment the true perception disappears we become subject to suffering because of all kinds of false perception whatever is obtained through false perception will be illusory to enjoy bliss all the time we have to hold on to the one who always remains real the one who is always real is only the lord we the ordinary ones have to hold on to that lord we are all small bits when the small bits merge in the transcendental they become transcendental too and that is eternal bliss the only reality is the one who is transcendental what is part is mere thought thought dream etc are not permanent truths if we meditate on the transcendental paramatma thinking of him as so many parts with forms and qualities and in the end if we meditate on the nirguna brahman that is brahman without qualities there will be no conflict no fear or sorrow there will only be absolute peace this is the fruit which shankara bhagavat pada has taken from the upanishad tree and given to us this state of ripeness can be reached only after going through the stages of the bud the flower the tender sprouts and the raw fruit one has to be patient till the state of ripeness is reached there is no use being in hurry when it is still raw and it would only get spoiled instead of ripening saint ramalinga referring to the body expresses the fear of its getting spoiled instead of ripening we should also have such fear till the ripened stage is reached puja meditation penance etc are necessary these are necessary till we reach the state of ultimate truth declared by vedanta only then can the stage of ripening be reached without deterioration in the end where is that ultimate truth the basis it is within oneself it can be experienced that the ultimate truth lies within that same intelligence which goes in its search voice of god will continue pradosha shankara pratyaksha shankara tannarudiya priyava putri ennattavakkam iraiva putri सर्वज्ञा महापरियवाडि महापरियवाडिपोत्री